local weather with the KX News Storm Team. And good evening. We've got uh, kind of a quieter radar and satellite. We had some snow move through earlier this morning. A few rain showers that went through the Dickinson area. Still seeing just a few raindrops on my camera at this hour. The winds are very strong. Uh, this is associated with a warm front, believe it or not. It's kind of hard to believe a warm front associated with snow, but that's certainly the case. That's why we're so warm here across much of the state. The cold front is to the north and it's going to drop through the state overnight tonight and really pull in cold air through the day on Friday. But you can see how warm we are. There are some areas seeing just a few rain showers. Now, where that's causing issues is where we have a little rain snow mix to the east and our ground temperatures are below freezing or even even the road temperatures below freezing, so it's creating some icing concerns. Uh, a little bit of rain moving through the Harvey area at this hour. Uh, temperatures are again in the 30s for a lot of us and above freezing. So you're seeing a little rain. It hits the frozen surface. It turns into ice, and that's where we have some problems on the roadways. Your absolute comfort heating and plumbing wind chills. They're not too much of a factor because we are so warm. We are windy, but you got to be a little colder with this wind to see those wind chills really plummet. We will see that here in the coming days. But here's the wind advisory. This lasts until Friday morning. Off towards the east, combined with the snow and the wind, we're going to have a winter weather advisory and a blizzard warning in effect for overnight tonight into early Friday morning. But for us, a wind advisory and a high. Wind warning there for eastern Montana. Uh, northwesterly sustained wind speeds 20 to 25, up to 30 at times, and our wind gusts have been rather strong. We're talking 35 to 45 at this hour, but I can tell you, <coughs> excuse me, but I can tell you that we're going to see those wind gusts. <coughs> Excuse me, pick up a little bit here, uh, gusting to, to 50 and 55 in central North Dakota overnight tonight. The winds will slowly relax through the day tomorrow, and you'll feel a difference in the morning off towards the west, and they'll start to diminish from west to east. So, uh, certainly keeping a strong wind. I want to show you where the warm front is. That's off towards the east. The cold front is going to usher in a lot of cold air from the north. A few rain showers certainly possible that could change over to snow with the natural cooling that we'll see for tonight. And this cold front. Certainly ushering in some very frigid temperatures by the time we get into late Friday into Friday night. So, Friday, we're going to see those daytime highs early in the day. It looks like we'll start warm and we'll end a little colder. So, here are your temperatures for tonight. A lot of 30s, still looking great at the 10 o'clock hour tonight. And then overnight tonight, seeing those temperatures slowly fall, even falling through the day slowly on Friday. Single digits there for parts of the north, even some teens in the south. Tomorrow night's Lows down to 5 to 15 below. It's going to be cold, and we keep the bone chilling temperatures as we head into Saturday as well. Many of us not even seeing above zero. And this is a rinse and repeat forecast for Sunday. Dickinson, your next three days, again, looking to be frigid heading into the weekend. That Arctic air is settling in as we head into the beginning of next week as well. So you're not going to warm up into Monday and Tuesday next week. You're going to keep these same numbers heading into the first part of next week. Here's your Williston forecast. Again, your daytime high will be achieved very very early in the morning, and then we're going to cool throughout the day. Over the next week, you can see here where we're, st we're starting to see a little recovery towards the end of next week, but still looking to be rather cold, very cold overnight lows. And this air mass, here's your Bismarck forecast, this Arctic air mass that's moving in is not going to carry a lot of snow with it. It will carry frigid temperatures and even a little sunshine. I like to see that at least we're getting up into the double digits for highs <laughs> at the end of the week. That's a bit of good news. Something to look forward to, I guess. Exactly. Thanks so much, Amber. Coming up next in sports, how a young core player.